So here's a blood pressure monitoring smartwatch, right? Yep. Right here with Omron. Hi, so who are you? So uh, Jeff Rain, I'm Executive Director of Product Strategy at Omron. And uh, what is this device? So this is our heart guide device. And what this does is it's essentially a wearable blood pressure monitor. It's the only FDA cleared home blood pressure monitor that's wearable. Um, essentially, we've taken a normal blood pressure monitor, shrunk it down into something that's wearable. And we launched this, at, we announced it at CES last year, and we launched it about 11 months ago. We've had great su success with it. A lot of good consumers telling us how they've used this in their daily life. But we realized that the device itself is only part of the solution. Really, the mobile application is the other component to the device. So how does it uh, do the, the blood pressuring? It actually expands in there? Yep, so inside here, there's actually a cuff that inflates. So it's just like what you would do at a doctor's office when you go in there and they put it on your upper arm. This actually pumps a air bladder up that's inside the cuff. And it takes the blood pressure just the same way that a normal blood pressure monitor would take and it. And to take it on the wrist is just as good as taking it on the arm? It is. So anytime anything goes through the FDA, they don't dis make a distinction between an upper arm monitor or a wrist monitor. However, that being said, if you are going to use a wrist monitor, you must be at heart level. So put it on. When you press the start button, it's telling me to put me at heart level. And so I'm going to place it at my heart. And that's when it's going to start to inflate. You do that many times in a day, right? Yes, I do. Because you're demonstrating. Yes. But there's nothing unhealthy about doing it many times, right? No matter of fact, the more you do it today, during the day, the more we can actually understand and help you understand your blood pressure. So how long does it take? Uh, it takes about 30 seconds. If I, It might air out because I moved it because I thought it stopped. Yeah. So, um, FDA means accurate. Yeah, so we j the FDA just uh, reviews the clinical data that we have. Um, we do clinical studies and we actually publish them and they're, they're uh, reviewed, peer reviewed by doctors um, just to make sure that the clinical studies are performed correctly. And because I'm talking, this is going to be a really high number. All right. Well, my, my systolic's okay, my diastolic was a little high. So normally you should uh, just be a little bit quiet for 30 seconds. Yeah, anytime you, so anytime you take your blood pressure, just because we made it wearable, doesn't mean you don't follow the American Heart Association guidelines for taking blood pressure. You still want to be resting, sitting down, do not eat, smoke, drink for 30 minutes. So you still want to follow all those same guidelines. We're just making it more portable so you can take it anytime, anywhere. And not, for example, not speak <coughs> too much while... What's that? Not speak too much while taking it. Yeah, you should never talk too much while... Which is a problem for me. No problem. But then, uh, uh, right there, you said uh, 11 months ago, but I did the first video with you four years ago. So well, that's, when, that's when we started developing it. So you, what you're starting to see is that a lot of the wearable technology and health is now coming to the marketplace. We actually were ones that kind of started it. We started developing this four years ago, and that's when we introduced it. But then we had to go and do all those clinical studies that I told you about. And that takes a long time to do those clinical studies. And then it has to go through the FDA, which takes a long time. And then finally we were able to launch it. So last year, so that would have been the three-year mark. And then now we've come up with a larger version. So um, uh, pretty much millions of potential customers, no? Yeah, it, well, and really it's not about just getting somebody to use and buy our product. We're not in this to get sell product, we're in this to help reduce and eliminate heart attacks and stroke. So that's why we actually have these devices. It's also why we have this new device too, it's part of it too. It's actually a connected pill cap. So the number one reason why people have hypertension is because they're not complying on medication. So we want to be people to understand when to take their medication. So when you use this and this together, along with the mobile application, so now you can actually see the days in which I took my medication and days where I skipped it. And I can then do a report that I can send to my doctor. This actually takes a second or two to generate. But now this report will get something that can be sent to my doctor. As it generates. Cell signal is bad in here. Okay, so here's the report. 
And what it's telling me is that there's my blood pressure trend, but then here's my medication trend. So now my doctor can look at this and say, is my blood pressure high because the medication is not working? Or is it because I'm not taking it because of side effects or cost? So that's something that the doctor needs to know so that they can figure out, do I put you on something with less side effects or cost effective, or maybe I've just got you on the wrong medication. It's a really big deal. It's, it is a really big deal. So, because uh, otherwise the doctor is just guessing a lot. It takes a doctor sometimes over a year, and sometimes never, to find the right combination of medication for you to be controlled. With this now, between this and this, the doctor knows if I put you on a medication, is it actually having the results that I want it to have? So you just need this and this. Yep. And you don't need this anymore. It's well, a different, bigger thing. So that one's actually a little bit different because it's got an EKG built into it. Can, can you hold? Can you, uh, yeah. But, so what is this one? So do? this is the first blood pressure monitor that actually has not only blood pressure but EKG built into it. So I'm going to set it down just for a little bit because I got to do this. Um, so when I'm taking my blood pressure, if I put my fingers on this, it's going to give you a EKG, you know, similar to what a doctor would look at if he were to do one um, in his office. A little different, but the same type of thing. It's not FDA, no. Yes, this is FDA clear. Awesome. Yes. So we this is part of a partnership with a live core. So you'll see there's the live core name down here on the pad. They actually are doing the EKG part of it, where Amran is handling the blood pressure part of it. Oh. So uh, it's, it's to do with uh, kind of like algorithms, uh, figuring out the heart yep, rate. Yep, so they're the analyzing the EKG signals and doing the interpretation, and Amran is doing the blood pressure. And the, the thing is, is there's about six million people that are diagnosed with AFib, um, but we know that number is likely much higher than that, but it's hard to diagnose in the, US. in the U.S. Just in the U.S. Just in the U.S. And we know that number is likely many, many times higher than that, but it's difficult to diagnose. So we know there's about 25 million people monitoring their blood pressure. So if we build the EKG into the blood pressure monitors, hopefully we can find those undiagnosed people with APIP. Nice. And what's the price? So on this one is $199. Uh, so and this? So this one is $499. And a little pill? That one is part of when you buy a heart advisor or heart guide that actually will be part of the premium package that comes with that. Shouldn't the insurance companies just give them for free to people or something? So the insurance company, um, a lot of times they are looking for evidence that it can reduce outcomes. And so actually Amran is right now in the midst of a number of studies to show not only the heart guide, but this is called the Amran Complete. And our other devices actually can have an impact. And actually, recently, um, the Center for Medicaid Services um, are reimbursing for people that participate in a program that uses blood pressure monitors. Is that a government organization? Or? That is, yeah. So that's uh, so Medicare and Medicaid is run by the CMS, Center for Medicaid Services. But they should just give them out. They'd save a lot of money, no? So they're still looking for no more evidence. It can go to hundred thousands of dollars on somebody who is. Needs to, uh, I do think it is trending that way, but just like everything else, there has got to have the evidence there for everybody to feel comfortable on just handing something out. So. And this is really a no-brainer. Do you want to? It's, it's great to have your uh, blood pressure monitoring with you all the time. Yeah, it changes well, everything. It, it, your blood pressure changes from second to second, and so. Just because you're normal in the morning doesn't mean that you're normal at night. And actually, a lot of people who take their medication, it'll only protect you for like half a day. So knowing what your blood pressure is in the morning, in the middle of the day, at night, after the meal, after the meal, even at, even while you're sleeping, that'll be kind of the next evolution. Is how do we take your blood pressure while you're sleeping? It's not going to wake you up. <laughs> well, that'll be on companies like us to develop something that won't wake you up. And uh, uh, it's important for people who have diabetes. So, yeah, so uh, uh, diabetes and hypertension go hand in hand. I think about 85% of people who are diabetic are also hypertensive. Um, so if you are diabetic, I highly, highly recommend you have a blood pressure monitor.